I am Dr. Swarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today, I'd like to explain about intrauterine insemination, also called as the IUI treatment protocol, um, uh, which is uh, uh, given to uh, patients suffering from infertility. Infertility is defined as uh, not being able to conceive even after one year of unprotected sex. If you are less than 30, then give it a time of one year. But if you're above 35, after six months, you must consult a fertility specialist so that they can do preliminary investigations at least. So in IUI, basically, we give more or less the same treatment as ovulation induction. Ovulation induction was nothing but growing the um, eggs in the ovary, in the ovary by giving medications and making it ovulate as in just uh, ovulation from the ovaries. Then the egg would come into the tubes and that's when the couple is asked to try on their own. That's ovulation induction. In intrauterine insemination or IUI, it's much the same. We give you the same medications, uh, maybe even injectables sometimes. These injectables are hormones that the brain already is producing for the growth of the egg. We more or less try to increase a little bit of dosage for one or two eggs to grow in the ovaries. Now, when the egg is of the right size, which could be from 18 to 20 mm, the egg is made to ovulate. A special injection called HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. Uh, in our terms, we call it the trigger because it is triggered to, uh, you know, ovulate from the ovary and get into the tube. So this trigger is uh, injection is given, and around approximately 35 to 36 hours later, this uh, procedure is carried out. This procedure is very simple. You are asked to come to the uh, center. Your partner is asked to accompany and he is asked to give a semen sample. This semen sample basically is uh, full of uh, seminal uh, fluid, uh, full of nutrients that the sperm requires for its proper functioning. Now in intrauterine insemination, all this is separated from the sperms, the semen, the debris, the you know if there are any blue blood, uh, white blood cells or if there are any uh, you know other uh, debris inside the seminal uh, plasma all of it is separated from the sperms and only good sperms means uh, morphologically intact sperms highly motile sperms are taken into a very thin tube like catheter and passed into the uterus so you can see that when you are trying on your own during ovulation induction or natural intercourse the sperms are deposited in this area in the vagina in the cervix and they swim out of the of the semen but in IUI we are putting the the good sperms only we have removed all the dead sperms isn't it and all the debris from this seminal plasma we are placing the sperms inside the uterus directly so the distance between the sperms and the egg has been reduced it's easier for these sperms to swim towards the egg and fertilize it also because they are of the highest potential they have the highest potential to fertilize an egg so it's very different from uh, from ovulation induction or trying on your own naturally now this procedure increases your chances of success from about 15 to 20 percent provided you are uh, you know ovulating uh, with with the medications that are given to you and the most critical thing is that you have patent tubes as in your tubes are open and your endometrium uh, or the uterus is of good uh, uh, capacity to then have the uh, embryo implantation here and the baby to grow inside the uterus when i say good potential i mean does not have endometriosis or fibroids or uh, adenomyosis or things which which bring down the uh, potential of the embryo to implant. If all those problems are not there in the uterus, then it is very easy uh, for you to conceive through this process. Now, in all this having said, this is the female part of the story. The very important critical factor is that the partner sample should also be very good sperm sample. The husband's uh, sperm sample should have enough count, good motility and good morphologies. These are the three most important things that are required for this procedure to work. Having said that, even so, the success rate of this procedure is uh, 15 to 20%. So your chances, if they are zero right now, will increase to 15 to 20%. If you want to understand more about this procedure, if you want to get an IUI procedure done and you want to know if you're eligible for this, please feel free to call us on the numbers that you see on the screen and take an appointment. Thank you.